Apuleius, also called Lucius Apuleius Madorensis, c. 124 c. 170 AD was a Latin language prose writer, Platonist philosopher and rhetorician. He was a Numidian who lived under the Roman Empire and was from Madoros now Madeiric, Algeria. He studied Platonism in Athens, travelled to Italy, Asia Minor, and Egypt, and was an initiate in several cults or mysteries. The most famous incident in his life was when he was accused of using magic to gain the attentions and fortune of a wealthy widow. He declaimed and then distributed a witty tour de force in his own defense before the proconsul and a court of magistrates convened in Sabratha, near ancient Tripoli, Libya. This is known as the Apologia. His most famous work is his body picaresque novel, The Metamorphoses, otherwise known as The Golden Ass. It is the only Latin novel that has survived in its entirety. It relates the ludicrous adventures of one Lucius, who experiments with magic and is accidentally turned into a donkey. Life Apuleius was born in Madoros, a colonia in Numidia on the North African coast bordering Gaetulia, and he described himself as half Numidian half Gaetulian. Madoros was the same colonia where Augustine of Hippo later received part of his early education, and, though located well away from the Romanized coast, is today the site of some pristine Roman ruins. As to his first name, no prenomen is given in any ancient source. Late medieval manuscripts began the tradition of calling him Lucius from the name of the hero of his novel. Details regarding his life come mostly from his defense speech apology and his work Florida, which consists of snippets taken from some of his best speeches. His father was a provincial magistrate Dumvir, who bequeathed at his death the sum of nearly two million sesterces to his two sons. Apuleius studied with a master at Carthage where he later settled and later at Athens, where he studied Platonist philosophy among other subjects. He subsequently went to Rome to study Latin rhetoric and, most likely, to speak in the law courts for a time before returning to his native North Africa. He also travelled extensively in Asia Minor and Egypt, studying philosophy and religion, burning up his inheritance while doing so. Apuleius was an initiate in several Greco-Roman mysteries, including the Dionysian mysteries. He was a priest of Asclepius and, according to Augustine, Sacerdos Provinciae Africae i.e., priest of the province of Carthage. Not long after his return home he set out upon a new journey to Alexandria. On his way there he was taken ill at the town of Oea modern-day Tripoli and was hospitably received into the house of Sicinius Pontianus, with whom he had been friends when he had studied in Athens. The mother of Pontianus, Pudentilla, was a very rich widow. With her son's consent, indeed encouragement, Apuleius agreed to marry her. Meanwhile, Pontianus himself married the daughter of one Herennius Rufinus. He, indignant that Pudentilla's wealth should pass out of the family, instigated his son-in-law, together with a younger brother, Sicinius Pudens, a mere boy, and their paternal uncle, Sicinius Aemilianus, to join him in impeaching Apuleius upon the charge that he had gained the affections of Pudentilla by charms and magic spells. The case was heard at Sabratha, near Tripoli, c. 158 AD, before Claudius Maximus, proconsul of Africa. The accusation itself seems to have been ridiculous, and the spirited and triumphant defense spoken by Apuleius is still extant. This is known as the Apologia, a discourse on magic. Apuleius accused an extravagant personal enemy of turning his house into a brothel and prostituting his own wife. Of his subsequent career, we know little. Judging from the many works of which he was author, he must have devoted himself diligently to literature. He occasionally gave speeches in public to great reception, he had the charge of exhibiting gladiatorial shows and wild beast events in the province, and statues were erected in his honor by the Senate of Carthage and of other senates. The date, place and circumstances of Apuleius' death are not known. There is no record of his activities after 170, a fact which has led some people to believe that he must have died about then say in 171, although other scholars feel that he may still have been alive in 180 or even 190. Topic. Works Topic. The Golden Ass The Golden Ass aureus or Metamorphoses is the only Latin novel that has survived in its entirety. It is an imaginative, irreverent, and amusing work that relates the ludicrous adventures of one Lucius, who experiments with magic and is accidentally turned into an ass. 
In this guise he hears and sees many unusual things, until escaping from his predicament in a rather unexpected way. Within this frame story are found many digressions, the longest among them being the well-known tale of Cupid and Psyche. The metamorphosis ends with the once again human hero, Lucius, eager to be initiated into the mystery cult of Isis, he abstains from forbidden foods, bathes, and purifies himself. He is introduced to the Navigium Isidus. Then the secrets of the cult's books are explained to him, and further secrets are revealed before he goes through the process of initiation, which involves a trial by the elements in a journey to the underworld. Lucius is then asked to seek initiation into the cult of Osiris in Rome, and eventually is initiated into the Pastophoroi, a group of priests that serves Isis and Osiris. The adventures of the ass stand at the beginning of the picaresque novel tradition which eventually produced the history of Tom Jones, a foundling. Topic. The Apologia Apologia Apule Platonici Pro Se de Magia is the version of the defense presented in Sabratha, in 158-159, before the proconsul Claudius Maximus, by Apuleius accused of the crime of magic. Between the traditional exordium and peroratio, the argumentation is divided into three sections. In the first, the writer refutes the accusations leveled against his private life. He demonstrates that by marrying Pudentilla he had no interested motive and that he carries it away, intellectually and morally, on his opponents. The second tends to prove that his so-called magical operations were in fact indispensable scientific experiments for an imitator of Aristotle and Hippocrates, or the religious acts of a Roman Platonist. The third recounts the events that have occurred in Oea since his arrival and pulverize the arguments against him. The main interest of the Apology is historical, it offers a lot of information about its author, magic and life in Africa in the 2nd century. But, it is not devoid of literary value. <laughs> other works His other works are Florida a compilation of 23 extracts from his various speeches and lectures. De Platon et Dogmate Ius on Plato and his doctrine. An outline in two books of Plato's physics and ethics, preceded by a life of Plato. De Deo Socrates on the God of Socrates. A work on the existence and nature of demons, the intermediaries between gods and humans. This treatise was roughly attacked by Augustine of Hippo. It contains a passage comparing gods and kings which is the first recorded occurrence of the proverb, Familiarity breeds contempt. Parrot enum conversatio contemptum, raritus conciliate admirationum familiarity breeds contempt, rarity brings admiration on the universe. This Latin translation of the work de mundo is probably by Apuleius. Apuleius wrote many other works which have not survived. He wrote works of poetry and fiction, as well as technical treatises on politics, dendrology, agriculture, medicine, natural history, astronomy, music, and arithmetic, and he translated Plato's Phaedo. Topic. Spurious works The extant works wrongly attributed to Apuleius are Peri Hermeneus on interpretation. A brief Latin version of a guide to Aristotelian logic. Asclepius. A Latin paraphrase of a lost Greek dialogue the perfect discourse featuring Asclepius and Hermes Trismegistus. <laughs> Apollaean sphere The Apollaean sphere described in Pedosiris to Nechepso, also known as Columcell's circle, or Pedosiris circle, is a magical prognosticating device for predicting the survival of a patient. Topic. Notes Topic. References Luca Graverini, Literature and Identity in the Golden Ass of Apuleius Columbus, Ohio State University Press, 2012, Original ed., in Italian, Pisa, Pacini, 2007. ISBN 978-0814292921. Claudio Moreschini, Apuleius and the Metamorphoses of Platonism, Turnhout, Breppel's Publishers, 2016, Nutrix. Studies in Late Antique, Medieval and Renaissance Thought 10, ISBN 978-2-503-55470-9.
Carl C. Schlamm, The Metamorphosis of Apuleius, On Making an Ass of Oneself Chapel Hill, London, 1992. Gerald Sandy, The Greek World of Apuleius, Apuleius and the Second Sophistic Leiden, Brill, 1997. Finkelperl, Ellen D. Metamorphosis of Language in Apuleius, A Study of Illusion in the Novel Ann Arbor, The University of Michigan Press, 1998. O. Pecheri, A Stromalia, Studia Pulayani. Note di aggiornamento di El Graverini Casino, Edizioni del Università degli Studi di Casino, 2003. Lucia Pacetti, Plato in Apuleio Bologna, Patron Editor, 2007. Frangulidis, Stavros. Witches, Isis and Narrative, Approaches to Magic in Apuleius Metamorphoses Berlin, New York, Walter de Gruyter, 2008, Trends in Classics, Supplementary Volumes, 2. Apuleius, Rhetorical Works, Translated and Annotated Stephen Harrison, John Hilton, and Vincent Huninck, Edited Stephen Harrison, New York, Oxford University Press, 2001. Topic. External links Works by Apuleius at Project Gutenberg Works by or about Apuleius at Internet Archive Works at Apuleius at Perseus Digital Library Works by Apuleius at LibriVox Public Domain Audiobooks Works by Apuleius at Open Library L. Apule Opera Omnia, Pars I, Lipsia, Sumptibus C. C. Noblashi, 1842 and L. Apule Opera Omnia, Pars II, Lipsia, Sumptibus C. C. Noblashi, 1842 The Works of Apuleius, London, George Bell and Sons, 1878 Apuleius 123-180 CE The Famous Berber Writer Apule Opera Latin texts of all the surviving works of Apuleius at the Latin Library English translation of Florida by H. E. Butler English translation of the Apologia by H. E. Butler English translation of the God of Socrates by Thomas Taylor Apuleius, Apologia, Seminar Latin text of the Apologia with H. E. Butler's English translation and an English crib with discussion and commentary Apologia's prosecution, the trial of Apuleius Apuleius works, text, concordances and frequency list Ongoing website for Apuleius and Africa Conference Apuleius and Africa Bibliography The Spectacles of Apuleius, a digital humanities project Free public domain audiobook version of Apuleius on the doctrines of Plato translated by George Burgess